Welcome to Virtual Ventrilock. Today we will be doing this crazy experiment. All you need is a video of your hand with some dots on it. You can use a marker, dark marker, that's what I use. Let's start with the blank project. Let's go to VFX, motion tracking. Let's clean up the space a little bit, join areas. Left click, join areas, right click, sorry. Find the video, open clip. So we are set it. Let's go to the EV, render. Let's crank up about 250, viewport around 30. Ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflection, motion blur, film, enable transparent. And on the color management, instead of filmic, standard. Give small, it looks different. Now sets in frames, prefetch, so it loads in the video. Pattern size, how big the chocolate is gonna be, let's make it 50. Keyframe, previous frame, normalize. And now let's add the chocolates. Control, left mouse button, we're gonna add the chocolate. Control, left mouse button, and again, and again. Now you can see it's not in the middle, press G, we can move it, if we press shift we can move it like more accurate. Control left click, control left, control left click, and so on until we're gonna put it all on the, all the trackers. Press A, track forward, or you can use the shortcut control plus D. As you can see we lost one on the way. Let's let's find out where we've lost it in the timeline. It's around here. Click on it. G to grab and move. Let's set there. It didn't work as it's still on the still outside. Let's G grab and move again and track forward or control T. Now we have all the trackers tracked. It worked quite smooth. I'm happy with it. Now let's go to solve. A to select all. Solve camera motion. So we have a solve error of 2.33 pixels, which is quite high. Preferable is under one or under 50. But I'm, I'm gonna take each tracker and weight down a little bit you can see underneath of all average error is 1.67 next one is 2.19 just weight it down a little bit 2.74 weight down not too much don't overuse it because after that it's gonna lose it's gonna lose it press a solve camera motion is got to 1.52 solve error i'm happy with it i'm going to work with this yeah my my footage is not as good now Let's make some mask. Shift A, add a circle, G to, G to move, to grab, S to scale, move to the first frame, S to scale, G to move, S to scale. We're gonna make it just slightly bigger than our tracking uh, pattern. Shift D, duplicate, Shift D again, and we're gonna do this for all of our markers. Shift D, Shift D. I have nine, nine dots. You can have more, but you need to have at least eight. That is the minimum requirement. You got two left, Shift D, Shift D. Now, if you press play, nothing's gonna happen. We need to parent the mask to the tracking now if you hover over the mask and press L it's gonna be linked and then shift L left mouse button control P to parent as you can see here the dots are, are, are parented to tracks now we have to do it for all of them so hover over L for linked control click 
and again length shift click control p deselect all don't forget to deselect now i'm gonna speed it up a little bit and do this to all the markers don't forget to deselect because otherwise one of your tracker is going to be linked to another tracker and it's not going to work as you can see we got a beautiful mask on top of our trackers yeah i'm trying to find the motion tracking i forgot that you have to go on the left and just change the tracking now split screen let's go on the right hand side and set this to the 3d viewport uh, now set up tracking scene press 0 to go on camera view and now as you can see we have our footage and tracking scene now let's select three dots make a floor there's the little cube it's just no way the light don't need it background now let's set the origin let's set the scale 5 is working for me it's quite good I'm gonna set an origin right in the middle and now I'm gonna set a X axis which needs just one tracking mark for the X axis I'm happy I'm happy with this Go to layout, press zero, go to camera view. You see is it's quite good. I'm happy with it. Now if we press F12 we need to render one image because we're gonna need it in the composite composite. Fair enough, good. Let's set up a background. We're gonna use environment texture, we're gonna cheat a little bit, we're gonna use the same video and then we're gonna give it a zillion frames we're gonna keep click auto refresh and now let's go to the compositing we're gonna need to add just a few more nodes and put it all together by the way v is to zoom in and ctrl v is to zoom out let's move this let's add our mask that we worked so hard for it mask let's find our mask, mask there, check motion blur now let's add the blur which we're gonna go through with our mask and movie clip let's put it all together with an alpha over gonna move this to the bottom image the image to the top image and mask into the factor now we're gonna crank up the XY by 40 40 works good for me for you maybe it's gonna be less or more and as you can see the tracking dots disappeared I'm happy with this now let's make that crazy vortex thingy whatever you wanna call it let's add a circle scale it Tab to edit mode, F to fill, I to insert, then GZ, GZ to go down with the bottom of the circle. I need to look at it so the bottom of the circle is not going out of the top circle. So far so good. I'm happy now let's go to shading press zero to go camera view new we're gonna name it this material circles we're gonna delete the principal bsdf and we're gonna add a few nodes not too many first we're gonna start with the coordinate text coordinate and then we're gonna type in a vector vector math shift a we're gonna look for the math 
and now we're gonna duplicate this a couple times shift D shift D again and now let's connect them all but first let's first one we're gonna use sign sign and not sign second is on add I didn't see that is add already next one this one we're gonna make it multiply and the vector we're gonna make it distance now let's link all together object to vector vector value to vector value to value value to value and value to value yeah now let's crank up the multiplier by maybe it's 26 and on the value we're gonna use a driver with hashtag frame divided by one you can divide it by two you can divide it by a hundred but when it's on a hundred it's gonna be really slow and on one is really fast I like the hypnosis look of it so far so good now let's add the glowing ball in the middle UV sphere S to scale G to move Z to move on the Z axis let's give it a glowing material new glowing emission let's crank up this to maybe 20 let's give it a fiery red and here it is done and dusted thank you very much i hope you learned something today